Hello, here's the the Potang Potang of Collegial Tendiling Tibetan Settlement. This is Potang. Normally we call this as a Potang. There's a house. There's a house over there. So whenever his holiness comes at Tendiling Tibetan Settlement, he stays in this in this house so that's why we call this house as potang potang or the palace <clears throat> so over there is a stage there's a stage over there where uh, tundiling people you know host meetings functions you know especially the Dalaram's birthday function people come here come here and you know dance you know even during Losal Losal also people come here uh, to you know uh, to hold functions and do celebrations and stuff like that So here's a potang, and then next to potang, at the right side of the potang is the uh, Dzogchen Monastery. And uh, and we also have this uh, Gun Kang, Gun Kang. Gunkha means uh, house of protective deities. Gunkha. House of protective deities. So that's a Gunkha. I'll show you the Gunkha. In Tibetan Gunkha, mostly in the, in, the, in the old settlements. On the old settlements, there is a Gunkha. Uh, official Gunkha, state Gunkha. Where only state oracles and state protective deities are evoked <clears throat> so there's the gongka or the house of protective deities <sighs> so it's close today close i don't know why because maybe the Gonka normally opens in the in, in morning, not afternoon. So maybe right now it's uh, around uh, 4 p.m. So that's why it's closed. <laughs> so Gonka, uh, Gonka, the Gonkas, dependent Gonkas. There's a. Uh, one gonga in every Tibetan settlement. There's one gonga, official gonga. Uh, the seems like uh, some meetings going on. Uh, official gonga. Uh, only two deities are, two protective deities are allowed to be evoked. The two, these two protective deities are. Number one, Palten Lamu. Palden Lamu. It's a Sanskrit word. In Sanskrit, Palden, Palden means Shri. Lamu means Devi. It's a Palden Shri Devi, actually. Shri Devi is kind of Indian and uh, origin deity. Palden Lamu. And then another one is the Nechung Chuge. Nijim has again many names. Better Horgi Gebo, Sahor Better Horgi Gebo, or Nijim. So these are the two principal deities of Tibet. I mean, they are protective deities, state protective deities. Paldan Hamu and Nijim. And Paldan Hamu, as I mentioned, is originated from India. Look at the name. Paldan, as I mentioned. Paldan means. Shri 
Samu means Devi, Sri Devi. That's it. And the Nechung, on the other hand, uh, belongs to Mongolia. That means that that's why Nechung is also known as Beta Horki Gebo. Beta Hor means Hor means Mongolia. So Nechung was actually appointed as the state oracle or the state protective deity by none other than Guru Padma Sambhava during the time of Tiusung Divutsen, the King Tiusung Divutsen. Uh, king Tiusung Divutsen, the Dharma King of Tibet, in a, he, in order to establish Buddhism as a state religion, the Tiusung Divutsen, the King Tiusung Divutsen, invited Shandarakshita, the abbot of Nalinda University, and he invited uh, Shantarakshita into Tibet and, you know, and uh, try to spread Buddhism in Tibet. But Shantarakshita, although he's a, he was learned one, but he could not able to, you know, preach Buddhism in Tibet because of so many reasons. One, maybe Bambo, the, you know, indigenous religion, Bambo. There are many uh, Bambu ministers. Uh, because they, you know, they hated Buddhism. They, they, they didn't allow Shantarakshita to, you know, preach Buddhism. And second reason, you know, uh, people say that, I mean, legends say that because of evil spirits, the spirits of Tibet, the local spirits of Tibet, they didn't allow Shantarakshita to preach Buddhism in Tibet. So, on the advice of Shantarakshita, the King Chisung Dutsen invited the Tantric Master or the Second Buddha, Guru Padma Sambhava. He's also known as that Second Buddha because of his knowledge, power, wisdom, compassion. So, King invited uh, Guru Padma Sambhava in Tibet and Guru Padma Sambhava subdued. All the negative forces, including this evil spirit, including the Bembo ministers, and he established Buddhism firmly in Tibet. And he, in order to, and then again, he just built a first ever monastery, Buddhist monastery in Tibet. And then the, and the, the name of that monastery is the Samye Monastery. So he set up Samye Monastery, and in order to protect. Sami monastery and in order to protect the Buddhism in Tibet, he appointed Nechung, Nechung, you know, the deity, Nechung deity, as the principal or the state deity of Tibetan Buddhism. So that's a story of uh, Nechung, how Nechung became a uh, state deity of Tibet, state protective deity of Tibet. Now, in nowadays, like even nowadays, the Nichung is the state protective deity. <coughs> so here you can see beautiful houses, few beautiful houses, pinkish pink in color. House in pink color, I, I kind of pink color. So this is a guest house, Colegal Tibetan Settlement guest house, newly built guest house. And uh, see the location of this guest house, location, right at the center of settlement. These guest house, this guest house is located right at the center of the Colegal Tibetan Settlement. Just look at the location. At the back side, there's a uh, Doktin Gompa. Doktin Gompa. And to the front is the community hall. Settlement community hall where, you know, the functions, the settlement people, you know, hall functions, uh, like, you know, prayers, and uh, you know, meetings and stuff like that. 
<coughs> at, the, at the left side, uh, you have this uh, around 12 villages at the left side and uh, around 12 villages at the right side. So that means this gas house is right at the center of the settlement, uh, our settlement. And uh, I heard that uh, so many Indians come here to, I mean, the guest house remain booked all the time because uh, lots of tourists are coming here to enjoy the views of settlement, the weather of Tibetan, uh, our settlement, and the sceneries, the mountains, look at the mountains. Look at the mountains. These mountains are mountains are as high as Mount Everest. Very high mountains. Uh, and uh, and Tantilling Tibetan settlement is known as Mini Swiss, Mini Swiss, because of weather, because of the you know, location, because of uh, uh, the people. And this and the, the, our settlement is neither. It's not a plain, neither plain nor hilly area. It's like a semi, semi hilly, hilly area. So here is a, a fountain, foundation stone of uh, this gas house. Foundation stone uh, says that, <coughs> says that the Dilling Guest House is funded by TOS Central Weather Administration, uh, Jaram Shala, <clears throat> inaugurated by none other than Honorable Sikyong Pembetsuring in the year 2022, in the presence of Gaelic Jumni, the settlement officer, Gaelic Jumni, remember this name, Gaelic Jumni. He, he, he's the one who built this guest house, the Gaelic Jumni. Gaelic Jumni. This is Tibetan name, Gaelic Jumni. Gaelic means, gay means positive or positivity. Lek means good. And Jumni means source, source. So therefore, that literal translation of his name is the source of all positivities or the source of all goodness literal translation of this name Gaelic Juni is the source of all positivities or the source of all goodness so he this guy Gaelic, Gaelic Juni he's, a, he's presently he's the settlement officer and because he built new roads he built uh, the community hall. He constructed the roads, especially this road, uh, the road from uh, here, from guest house to the tea village. You know. So this guy has golden hand actually. The Gaelic Juni has golden hands. Whatever touch he, Everything he touches turns to gold, actually. Everything he touches turns to gold. For example, if he touch this iron metal, if you touch this metal, iron, it will turn into gold. That's who he, he is, you know. Everything he, touch, he touches turns to gold. So roads, earlier this road used to be like, this road used to be like, uh, this road used to be very rough. You know, now it's very smooth. Look at the road. Ah, it's as smooth as Hammermalin's chick. The road is as smooth as Hammermalin's chick. Earlier it used to be rough, as rough as Omburi's chick. Now it's smooth, completely smooth, like a butter. It's as smooth as butter.
So down there is a settlement school. Early it used to be CTS, uh, CST school. Now it's a some border school. Thanks to Gaelic Juni, I mean the road and everything, you know, because of Gaelic, we can see new roads, we can see buildings, new buildings, we can see, you know, everything new. And the credit goes to none other than this alone officer. Uh, and uh, that's it.